Go. Hi guys, uh, I'm just going to show you how I made my bed. Um, this is a fold out bed that I built for our camper, which is a Kia Grand Carnival um, in Australia. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So you can see when it's all up and running, it fits a perfect bed. Um, and it's a little bit wider at the front, um, which means that you can fit the full mattress on there. And at the back it tapers off a little bit so that it fits into the back of the car because obviously the car gets narrower towards the back. Okay, next let's have a little look at how I put it all together. Cool, so this is the bed, this is the frame. Um, so this is it completely folded out. So this top section is four foot six uh, in width, which equates to, uh, sorry, uh, 137 centimetres and it's 96.5 centimetres long which works to about 3 foot 2. This bottom section is 4 foot in width so you will get a bit of mattress overhang but not too much it's fine and with the Kia Grand Carnival there's two little consoles up here which the mattress will sit on quite nicely um, and this is 3 foot in length making it uh, a 3 foot or 91.5 centimetres uh, which makes it full 6'2", which is the, the length of a full bed. When you don't want to be sleeping on it, all you need to do is slide this first bit backwards and then push this end in. <laughs> the laughing cameraman. And then that folds up to quite a comfortable size. Um, the reason why I've made it this high is because with this height, which is 47 centimetres, that will completely cover these chairs that fold down and do get removed. So if you can remove the chairs and take put them somewhere, then that's great. If not, no problem at all. They will, this bed will fit over it and collapse around it. So that's really, really great. Okay, so now let's start taking it apart a little bit and see how I've made it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll remove this sliding small platform. So this platform can come all the way off, and these I've the reason why I've made it with these bits of rough ply is because we've, we got them out of a guide skip, um, which is very very useful. Um, and there was a sail on, so um, you get as much three by two, uh, which is seventy five uh, millimeters by thirty five millimeters. And it was three bucks fifty, so about two pounds for a two and a half metre length. So we've made the whole bed with that. Um, so we've got two bits here, which are uh, 40 centimetres long each. Uh, and then I've got a length that comes up here, which will then slide in here. And this is 100 centimetres. Uh, and then this one here is 106 centimetres, which then butts in nicely with the, with the 70, with the 7.5 centimetre bit of wood. Um, to fit perfectly into the frame itself. The next thing to look at is this top section. Now it's really important with the Kia Carnival is that if you want to have the full length of it you're going to have to fold those front seats forwards. So that means that there's one extra leg which is only attached to the MDF so that you can move it forwards. It'll only need to support the weight of the pillow so it, should, it doesn't need to be too much. Uh, that one's 47 centimetres as well um, with the length of the bed. If we get that out of the way, that leaves us with the main base or the main platform. So what we've got here is we've got three sides which are uh, vertical or I guess portrait um, and then this one is landscape or, or horizontal. Um, so yeah, and that all fits together nicely. Um, these are the, the top length, so the head length, is 136 centimetres. The back one is, is 129 centimetres. And then these two here are both 93 centimetres. And this one in the middle is 89.5 centimetres. Uh, the reason why they're all different lengths is because we've used that 3x2. Um, I've managed to rebate them onto each other. So I've set a 47 centimetre leg with a 42.5, so 42, 
Oh no, sorry, 47 and a 40 um, are there. And I do apologise, the other legs are actually 42.5s on that, on that sliding platform. Um, they're not, um, as I said before, oh sorry, 43.5, we'll get there in the end. <laughs> the sliding leg platforms are 43.5 centimetres. Um, so that's a 40, that's a 47. And that then sits in there, lovely. Uh, and it's great, so it can be, it can support both beams if you put it in this L shape. And then on the horizontal one, we've just basically flipped it that way, so it overhangs a little bit, which is not a problem. I mean, if you want to make it really, really neat, you could use a smaller bit of wood here, or you could um, cut this piece off. It's easy to do, but it doesn't make too much difference to me. Um, if I were to do this again, I probably would have sunk this a little lower so that I could then cut a rebate into that to give myself a bit more support here. Instead I had to budget, budget a little bit and put a bit of wood on here, which I can screw on here and into there. Um, yeah, and there you have it, one bed. Let's go and have a look at inside the car. Super, so we've got it in the car. Really, really easy to get in. The base section, the main section just came in through the door. The back section came through the back and this table section came in sideways through the back and slotted on. So let's extend it and then we'll pop a mattress on it. So well, I'm just going to disappear for a while. Mate. I'm going to slide this forwards so it sits there. All I've got to do is just grab my fingers around here and just slide this back. Just a little bit of rub on the floor, it does fit. There we go. And that should be perfect. Let's get the mattress on it. <laughs> so here we go, we're all finished. This is how you convert a Kia Grand Carnival into a camper van. So we've got our bed in and a mattress, curtains all up, they just need to be suckered on so they will fit completely flush on the glass. And we've even got our little fairy lights, so come on over. So we've got Charlotte's side and we've got my side. Charlotte obviously gets the beautiful roses for a beautiful rose. And uh, yeah, excited to get out on the road. <laughs> All of our food in the boot. Yeah. Important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all my stuff. <laughs>